We are installing solar panels um, on top of our Winnebago Navion here, 24V floor plan. Um, we have two sun power solar panels. One's rated 410 watts. The other one over there is rated at 415 watts. Um, and to mount them on the RV, we're going to use these Renogy uh, aluminum brackets. Um, the RV roof is not flat, so we're going to have to bend these a little bit, but this is really the only way we're able to do it um, with the hardware we have at the moment. We're going to check the diameter of these bolts so we can select the right drill bit to drill through here. And if you look here on the back, they've already got some supplied holes that we're going to use. We're going to do three on each side. one more we made a center line mark here we'll put one more right in the center line make sure not to damage the back of the panel when you when you go through So we definitely recommend taking the bolts and putting them in from the panel side so that the nuts are on the bottom. That way, if you ever have to take the panels off of the RV, you can. Otherwise, there's not quite enough clearance in between the panel and where the roof will be to pull the bolt off that direction. Since we're not using any hardware to mount these uh, panels to the roof, we're going to be using 3M VHB tape, uh, which is super strong. Um, and we're also going to be using Dicor um, lap sealant, which is over here. Uh, it's going to be on top, and that'll be our secondary uh, hold. And to use the VHB properly, we want to clean off the mounting surface, um, both on the solar panel brackets as well as on the RV roof itself. Um, with denatured alcohol and that'll help the adhesion process and make sure it's clean. We're designing brackets um, for the, uh, basically spacers for the brackets um, on the solar. Um, the reason being is we want more space off the roof, uh, lets more air and cooling get through there. Um, and we also did this kind of on a whim because there are brackets available um, from the uh, view slash Navion group on Facebook, but uh, we didn't have enough time to get them. Um, so we're making our own basically. Uh, what we're doing, we only had um, quarter inch stock at um, Lowe's. So we're now taking two pieces of quarter inch, we're putting them together with JB Weld, creating a, a half inch spacer. Um, we're going to use those to space them higher off the roof.
a strong, capable woman. All right, so what we're doing here is we are cleaning off the mounting feet, basically, uh, the position on the roof where they're gonna go uh, with denatured alcohol again, just to make sure it's nice and clean and it'll provide better adhesion uh, with the VHB tape from 3M. You can kind of see the difference already from where we've cleaned versus where we have not. All right, so we took this panel out. And this is actually where the antenna comes in through the ceiling here, through the roof. So this is where we're gonna be running solar. Uh, we just wanna follow it down and hopefully it does go behind the, uh, the fridge somewhere and we can trace the wires. All right, so we've decided to route the wires um, from the antenna up top as we discussed and we're then going to come down behind the fridge from this panel down here following this wire and then through the back of the fridge area we're going to run through these two holes and that'll get us under the sink and then once we're under the sink we can access this already drilled port and that'll get us into what I call the electrical cabinet where we will be installing uh, the Victron MPPT and the rest of the uh, electronic accessories. Now that we have the antenna out, we're gonna use the hole saw, do some drilling. Um, we're gonna make the hole a little bit larger uh, so we can get this guy to go through. It's a two piece um, pass through designed for walls, but it's, um, it's a decent diameter because uh, we're looking to put both the solar cables down there. And we're also looking to run uh, our Starlink cable up here um, and we might run uh, one or two other things up here as well. So kind of helping in the future. And then we have some VHB tape again, and this is gonna be the box. Uh, it's aluminum, IP67 rated, and we're gonna cut a hole in that, 
mount that here. And then we're gonna cut a few holes on the side as well, run some grommets through that are gonna be weather tight uh, and hopefully everything works out. All right, so the hole has been drilled. As you can see, it goes all the way down through the roof and through the ceiling. And then this pass-through fits perfectly and will give us a nice run for our wires. All right, so we uh, use this hole saw here, um, which is one three quarter inches in diameter um, to put a hole through here. This is the box that's gonna go up on the roof. And then coming into the box from the side over here, we're gonna drill some more holes because uh, we wanna get the solar wires coming through there um, as well as our Starlink at some point, um, which we may wait to drill the hole later um, or may drill it now. We're playing that by ear. All right, so we took the solar wire and we measured the diameter of the wire and we ran a grommet onto the end of it just to check and make sure it was a good good fit fits well and we're going to use a 3 8 inch drill bit and we're going to drill some holes into the side of the box here uh, first, we got to drill some pilot holes with a smaller drill bit, of course, uh, and we'll go from there. Just so you can see side by side, pilot hole on the left, actual drilled hole on the right where the grommet's going to go. All right, so we have the grommets in. This is where we're going to feed the wire through. It's a nice tight fit, uh, but we're going to add some silicone as well just to make sure it's uh, fully weatherproof. All right, so we have to clean the roof with more denatured alcohol um, just to make sure it's nice and clean uh, before we put down more Dicor and VHB um, tape. Um, so we're going to clean the roof. All right, so now we're gonna, again with denatured alcohol, clean the bottom of the box. The box is gonna go here <clears throat> with the VHB tape all around. All right, so we have the VHB tape on. Um, just added some extras around the corner just to make sure it was as close to sealed um, as we can get it, but we are gonna add die core as well. Um, so we're gonna take this through piece, put it in here, and install it as so. Uh, we're also going to add a little bit of this uh, quad max osi clear um, we're going to put it down around the entrance uh, into the roof uh, just as a little bit more of a secondary um, or i guess even a third measure of preventing water getting down into the uh into the rv's roof
All right, so at this point, we're gonna feed this wire down through these two grommets into the box and then down through the um, port through the roof, which goes down into the um, cabinet area above the fridge. Uh, and from there, we'll show you later uh, how we actually feed it through down into the compartment. All right, so we fed the wire down uh, along with right next to this wire that comes down for the fridge power. Uh, we're gonna run them through here, through these two holes uh, behind the sink area, um, and then down into the electrical cabinet down here. So this is the other side where we drilled holes. Um, the fridge is right here. These are the cabinets. And we're gonna come in here and go down right here, which leads us into the electrical compartment. So this is where we fed the cable to, coming out from behind the drawers, and the MPPT is gonna be down here. Um, and it looks like we have just enough wire to make this work. All right, now that we have this box ready, the wire is through here. We've got these zip tie mounts. The wire is gonna go around the antenna here into our splitters, our two to ones. The positive sides have fuses on them, both 20 amp according to the specs on the solar panels. All right, so we have the MPPT mounted. It's in maintenance mode right now, so it's not putting out any power. Uh, but as you can potentially see, there you go. It is flashing, it is getting power. Um, the wires up here are coming down from the compartment uh, behind the drawers, down here into the MPPT. We have this battery cutoff switch, which is gonna go here. All right, so we have the wires run from the MPPT to the battery cutoff switch here. And then from the battery cutoff switch, it runs to the current 60 amp fuse, which we will be upgrading to a 70 amp fuse, uh, which is waiting for us at home. Just finished with the new wire um, ordered from Amazon. Uh, it supposed to be two gauge it looks more like six or eight at least inside um but it works uh eight was minimum so i we just wanted uh two gauge so we could put in a 3000 watt um inverter uh, but we will up the gauge of the wire when we go to that 